What's good, y'all? It's Boy Ross back at again with another video. So we're gonna check out 10 greatest Money in the Bank ladder match spots ever. Now, Money in the Bank is right around the corner. Looking forward to the pay-per-view. Should be a good showing. And uh, it's always something to commend the wrestlers, men and women, that are willing to put their bodies on the line for these crazy spots where you just like you just go back and you know look back at some of these past money in the bank uh ladder matches and you just be like bro they literally risk their health in their body damn near you can say sometimes their spirit for some of these brutal brutal spots crazy insane ladder match spots all to you know entertain us to grab a damn briefcase at the top <laughs> so we're gonna check out some of these crazy moments man Appreciate all the love and support you guys shown on the channel. This is brought to uh, to us by Parts Unknown. Subscribe to them if you haven't already. Let's get right money, into this. Money, one. money, money. Everybody's got a price. Everybody's gonna pay because the million dollar man always gets his way. Wait a minute. Is Ted DiBiase's song and the Mountie song just the same thing? Have I just discovered something? Is Jim Johnston a fraud? Anyway, something <laughs> about money, something about a ladder, something about a briefcase, da 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 da, here's your guaranteed four stars. Money in the Bank is almost always great, and thus those matches have created many a great moment. Mm -hmm. And today, we get to talk about them. Because the pay-per-view is next Saturday. Isn't that fun? Yeah. Come on, Pete Dunn, please come out of witness protection. I'm Tempest, hailing from Parts Fun Known, and these are the 10 greatest Money in the Bank ladder match spots ever. Before we get on with this list, make sure, of course, that you like this video. Give it that For big show, old thumbs up. It helps out a lot. Make sure already. that you subscribe so we can get ever closer to our 250,000 subscriber goal. We're going to be doing a four-person MyGM live stream when we hit that mark, so help us get there today. Honorable mention the smaller roof. The Climb the Corporate Ladder match is dumb, and I would very much wish for it to be deleted from my memory banks, yeah. but it can't be, because I will never allow myself to forget Rey Mysterio and Aleister Black's murder at the hands of Baron Corbin. I'm sorry, bro. That'll always be funny, bro. I never watched this Money in the Bank pay-per-view, but just seeing the clips of Baron Corbin legitimately murdering Rey Mysterio... Throwing them off the side of the building, supposedly, will always be hilarious to me, bro. It's meme-worthy. Be a roof throwing. <laughs> WWE then upgraded their conditions to alive the next day on Raw, <laughs> revealing a smaller roof next to the roof. Clearly, Ray and Alistair just have superpowers because that would be more believable, you see. Number 10, <laughs> even more painful than it looks. Kevin Owens has always been someone to put his oh, body through bro. large amounts of pain for the yes. sake of a good Money in the Bank match. Yes. Which makes it even more baffling that KO hasn't won one, but I digress. Speaking of getting KO'd, oh, the powerbomb bump he took going backwards through a ladder to the floor at Money <laughs> in the Bank 2021 was one of the gnarliest moments oh, in any ladder gosh. match of any kind, but the PFK World Headquarters favorite Kevin Owens spot came five years earlier. In the 2016 match, mm -hmm. Sami Zayn, Kevin Owens' longtime personal frenemy, decided to hit a Michinoku driver, yep. a good move, but he decided to hit it on a ladder <laughs> stood upright on its side, leaving KO draped across it like Homer Simpson on a fire hydrant. And like being bent back over a fire hydrant, this Michinoku driver was even more painful than it looks. It is one of only two things I remember from this match, along oh with the triple God. hockey fight, and that's half a line brawl. Number nine. The and here's the thing. Kevin Owens, he, for whatever reason, he just takes those brutal looking spots. Like, I, I don't know why. I mean, we appreciate you, Kevin, for all the things you do safely in the ring. But Jesus, dog, he stays taking brutal spots. It doesn't even have to be ladder matches. It's just any regular match. He... He's just, if there's a corner and an edge and you're able to fall on it, he's going to fall on it, bro. <laughs> the biggest boom drop. Taking Money in the Bank from WrestleMania to its own branded pay-per-view gave us three Money in the Bank matches in 2010. Three totally fine, yet almost entirely forgettable matches. WrestleMania 26 featured probably the weakest Mania in the Bank match, which had its moments for sure, including but not limited to Kofi Kingston using a ladder mm -hmm. as stilts, the single most impractical way to climb a ladder in the history of ladders, the Raw match I remember yeah. <laughs> literally nothing about, but the SmackDown match was a ton of fun. And about half of that ton came from Big Show and his giant ladder. 
The big spot of this match came when Kofi Kingston, the man who should have had a Superstars 2010 and instead spent the year giving me reasons to remember Money in the Bank matches, hit the biggest boom yeah. drop of his career off a ladder through a table. Kofi didn't win the match, as was the story of his year, but he was damn sure the highlight. Mm -hmm. Number eight, great power bomb, terrible landing. It is a damn shame no. that Brock Lesnar cashing in his Brock Lesnar in the bank contract to insert himself into the Money in the Bank ladder match is the main thing people remember about it in 2019 because that match is gangbusters. It had a particularly good lineup of potential winners with potential being the operative word of mm -hmm. course and that lineup made for some cool ass moments. Ricochet did some flips and stuff. Ollie forgot how to win a ladder match yeah. but the best of the bunch came from Andrade and Finn. All he had to do was just pull it down and then it would have been over. <laughs> He's watching Brock run in like, oh no, what will I ever do? Just, just unhook it. And then Brock would have just had to, wait, what the fuck? <laughs> just go back up the ramp. Or he probably would have beat you up for it. But still, you'd be money in the bank winner. <laughs> In Balor. With Andrade atop a ladder and Finn coming up to catch him, Andrade oh, yeah, took notice this. of the ladder bridge in mm. front of him, climbed to the very oh, tippy top, my and went God. for a sunset flip powerbomb. Now pause. Normally, this would be a pretty safe landing with plenty of give no. as the ladder would be resting on the ropes. Now hit play and see how horribly this awesome spot plays out. Andrade lands on the ladder first off the flip and knocks the ladder out of the grasp of its ladder brethren, making for a long drop and a oh sudden stop for old Finn. Such a, a sudden crazy stop that sent him spot. sailing into the air. Oh you won't my. see old Broccoli <laughs> Lesborg taking that bump, I tell you that. That was Number a seven, crazy one. CM boy. Punk, no longer a Paul Heyman guy. Yes, not every spot on this list is filled with a high spot. Here, we appreciate the drama as well. CM Punk was a big Paul Heyman guy. You'll know, he'll tell you about it. When those two were paired up on screen in September of 2012, there was rejoicing in the streets, heralding the arrival of the best manager wrestler pairing in years. Mm -hmm. And for about nine months, things were just peachy cream. Then Punk started acting a little too babyface like, and he had to be dealt with in the same way Virgil took care of Luca and the Godfather. At Money in the Bank 2013, the WWE title briefcase was contested between five all star babyfaces and Sheamus, and just as it was Punk's turn to go for the win, Paul encouraged him to climb and then stuck the proverbial knife yep. in his back and the literal ladder in his ass. They shared a look. Punk of betrayal, Paul of vengeance, yep. and then Paul wiped Ooh. Punk out with a ladder shot to the dome. A great legitimately moment of fear mixed busted in him over. Ladder based carnage, one foreshadowed by Brock Lesnar's attack on Punk weeks earlier, mm -hmm. and paid off to perfection. Number six, Sin Cara joins Twitch. Yeah, it's just crazy because it's like when he obviously he didn't mean for uh for him to get lacerated or whatever. When he threw the ladder, he ended up bleeding because of it. That was a legitimate cut or whatnot. I was like, whoo. <laughs> that's when things are starting to heat up with their feud man and then brock being involved and whatnot it started to heat up it is a good thing that triple h's track record of nxt era hires overshadows the first year of his executive career in 2011 where his major hires were the unfortunately timed arrival of karma and the unfortunate in every way arrival of the original Sin Cara. <laughs> not Difficult in every way with, unwilling to adapt to the american style and frequent injuries were the story of Sin Cara original but just a few months into his wwe run he also failed a wellness test you naughty sausage this <laughs> resulted in him being written off tv in the most brutal way possible. yeah it was <laughs> competing in a very good SmackDown Money in the Bank ladder Sheamus match sent him to the Gulags. A ladder bridge by Sheamus. The move was great, as is the case with the other power bombs mentioned on this list. But what made this one so memorable was the selling. Bro. Rather than just clutching his neck and back and he such, started Sinkar twitching. lay on the ground, twitching and convulsing, being stretched out for his. Bro, he sold. I thought he was legitimately hurt. He Damn. He sold that man. Give that man an Academy Award because he sold it. He was twitching it. I was like, oh yeah. Seamus sent him to the upper room. Not even the gulags. He sent them to the upper room. Bro. Conveniently 30-day hospital visit. Number five, the tease that was better than the feud. You know, for as unremarkable as the AJ Styles Shinsuke Nakamura rivalry was in 2018, mm -hmm. I think their stare down in the 2017 Money in the Bank ladder match was equally as excellent. Only a year and a half removed from their bonkers good match at Wrestle Kingdom 10, Styles and Nakamura had been kept apart for Nakamura's first several months on the main roster and for the first several minutes of this match as Baron Corbin had to be a stinky poo-poo head and attack Nakamura <laughs> during his entrance. When Shinsuke re-emerged, he came face to face with his old adversary and at the time best wrestler in North America, 
AJ Styles. Mm -hmm. WWE will very often try to manufacture an epic stare down moment. Look up Cena and Orton in the 2011 Rumble if you dare. But this was one that hit on exactly what WWE. Green shirt guys there, <laughs> as year. always. The energy in the arena just shifts as everybody there knows they are getting a magical moment in real time. An epic tease of epic proportions. It's just a shame that the actual feud wasn't, you yeah. know, good. Number yeah. four, the moon Unfortunately. salt plus. I'm one of the people who misses Money in the Bank being part of WrestleMania. Maybe it's because I'm nostalgic for this time in my life. Maybe it's the huge crowd adding to the matches. Or maybe it's because you are guaranteed to see some bat sh things like the last four spots on this list. WrestleMania 24's Money in the Bank match had a bunch of stellar highlights. MVP's fate being twisted by a returning Matt Hardy, <laughs> Shelton Benjamin flip diving through a ladder Yeesh. bridge, maybe the best Tower of Doom spot ever, it's good stuff, but my favorite moment from my first ever ladder match has to be John Morrison's moonsault plus ladder. The way the oh, ladder was opens pretty... mid moonsault to take out everyone on the floor pretty creative. is by the very definition of the word, spectacular. It's a shame that this match had to end for Morrison with his meat and two veg crushed on the top rope because with a spot like this, he deserved so much more. Number three, Shelton dives into the pool. Mm. Shelton Benjamin was the early years handy dandy human highlight reel when it came to money in the bank matches. Yep. His flip dive through the ladder at Mania 24 is sickening. His running flip dive at Mania 22 is scary as hell as it always mm -hmm. looks like that ladder is going to slide out from under him. But the cream of the flip dive crop came at WrestleMania 25. Early on in this match, everyone takes turns jumping onto the pile on the outside, with the jump starting small and getting progressively bigger. From apron dive to suicide dive to top rope dive to finally this. Shelton Benjamin leaping off the top of a very big ladder in the <laughs> aisleway just bro. to barely be caught by his waiting Barely. Partners. It looks like he's doing a dive into the pool. It is a terrifying but terrific moment, continuing to prove that Shelton damn sure should have been given a lot more than he was. Oh, for sure. Sheldon Benjamin, he was always like how Kofi uh had the had the spots uh, at Wrestle uh, at, at the Royal Rumble of always trying to find a way to stay in the match. Sheldon Benjamin, you knew he was gonna do some crazy high flying move at some point in the match, and people would look forward to seeing him in Money in the Bank because it just made sense to have Sheldon out there doing some crazy move. Number two, Jeff Hardy forgets about winning. Yep. You know, sometimes things are more edge. important than winning. Like attempting <laughs> to murder the guy that yep. stole your brother's girl. Yep. WrestleMania 23's <laughs> Money in the Bank match is a legendarily star-studded affair. Edge, Orton, Punk, Booker. He legitimately tried to kill Edge, bro. It's one of the sickest spots in WrestleMania history, bro. Oh, Jesus Christ. Both Hardys, top guys who can have a great ladder match, and this match had no this shortage was a good of big one, moments man. either. Orton's massive RKO on Punk, Kennedy crushing Hornswoggle, Booker's bookend. It is a fantastic match, and it provided us with maybe the most iconic Money in the Bank ladder match spot of all time. Jeff Hardy, ever the risk taker, usually happy to forego winning the match in order to make a huge moment, climbs a big ass ladder in the <laughs> ring when his dear brother Matt calls for him to take out his nemesis Edge, who had been laid out across a ladder bridge. In this moment, Jeff could have won, then jumped, but nay. Jeff leapt off, crushing Edge to oh bit with a great God, call on commentary, bro. an incredible camera shot, bro, and a roar he, of 80,000 fans. Murdered this is a him, moment bro. that would go on to be played in Do Not Try This at Home bro. videos for years to come, and it remains one of the most iconic, brutal, and perfect Money in the Bank <laughs> moments ever. But in terms of best, there is but one that tops it. Number one, Shelton goes for a run. There's that name again, mm -hmm. Shelton Benjamin, one of the six men involved in the first ever Money in the Bank ladder match at WrestleMania 21, but certainly the one the highlight reel editor loved the most. The first Money in the Bank match pretty much had to be good for the stipulation to stick, and on yeah. paper, yeah, put six good workers in a ladder match and it should yield results, but allow Shelton Benjamin to run wild and you have yourself a brand mm -hmm. new smash hit match. A tope to the outside, superb. A T-bone suplex off a ladder, scrumptious. But the absolute <laughs> this best was we cool, have ever bro. gotten in Money in the this Bank came cool. as Chris Jericho reached for the briefcase. This was only super for cool. Shelton to run up a tilted ladder and clothesline Jericho down. There are so many ways this could go wrong. Yeah. Shelton misses one step. Yep. Catastrophe. The ladder slides out of the wrong, even slightly. Catastrophe. Shelton even just takes his time running. Maybe not a catastrophe, but it wouldn't have been as great as what we got. A he ran full speed too. Helping to crown Jr. The bank as the success went crazy. We now know it to be. <laughs> I Shout went out crazy. To Shelton Benjamin. Now and always. For sure. And for that's sure. our list. Make sure. I'm not 
I probably would have changed number one. I would have put Jeff Hardy fucking sending Edge to the gulags at WrestleMania 23 Money in the Bank ladder match. I would have put that as my number one. Um, and probably Sheldon Benjamin is number two. But I'm not gonna lie to you. The seeing that happen live or in real time when it initially happened, bro, bro, that was impressive. I never like someone running up the ladder at full speed to clothesline someone at the top of the ladder look beautiful. I'm not even gonna lie to you. So comment down below. And let me know, man. What's y'all favorite money in the bank ladder match spot ever? If it wasn't listed on here, let me know. But I appreciate all the love and support you guys have shown on our channel, Road 250K. And I'm still here in this PD, YouTube Wrestling Champion. Well, appreciate y'all kicking me. See y'all next one. Peace.